All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode here, episode uh, two on Genesis. I am working my way through here. In the last episode, we established this base. Um, in this episode, I have a monkey, uh, low level. I think he was like a 24 or something, but he's been helping me out. Yeah, these things, I haven't had one of these in a long time, and they are really useful. Especially when you're on foot, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, so, let's see, I got a mortar and pestle, I got another load of uh, metal, I've got uh, emeraldas here, uh, shining like a star, or like an emerald, a uh, pretty low level creature, <laughs> but uh, today I want to tame some higher level stuff. There is a level 80 Carno outside my base, so I think I'd like to start with that. That should be useful. And then I want to go far away from here, which I just did. I went exploring and I went um, over there on foot. And, you know, it, it's it's kind of difficult, you know. I gotta go, you know, oh, there's a group of raptors there. I can't go that way. Oh, there's a, there's a pig over there. I can't go that way. And I gotta, you know, zigzag through. And it, it takes a long time, so... Over there, there's a bunch of Iguanodon, and I'd like to tame one of those. Uh, I didn't get to tame an Iguanodon on Aberration. I kind of wanted to do that, but we never had use for an Iguanodon. Uh, we got um, a Parasaur to get around on and get berries, and then we had a, um, a Ravagers after that. And, uh, yeah, Iguanodons... I really like Iguanodons. But, uh... Oh, there he is. Okay, so there's dude. He's over here, so I think I'll just set the trap up here. Switch to manual, yeah. Okay, we'll leave that side open. There we go. Alright, so I've been spending my time uh, just recently building these gates and uh, making tranks with Emerelda, so yeah. Uh, this guy's a bit... He, he, did get, he did wander off a bit. What was that? Now he's over there. There we go. Did he make it in? No, he's attacking that the gate on the outside, isn't he? Oh, what an annoying prick, dude. Oh, I hate when they do that. He's stuck. <laughs> Um, but he's not gonna get stuck there for long. He's just, uh... Really doubt it, no. Let's get... What was that noise? It's pretty tempting, but... Um... Yeah, when he starts torpor running, he might, you know, go different directions. Oh, there we go! Oh! Yeah, you gotta come right in here, buddy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll go this way. <laughs> no, no, focus on me. There you go. Flak armor helps. Hey, right, gate closed. Good. So uh, I'll just not approach that side because it's on automatic. Ooh, that's loud. Music is loud. Okay, Mr. 80, are you ready? I think I am. Oh, don't, don't hit him with the poop. <laughs> okay, so, um, don't really know about the guy's torpor health ratio, so we'll just, you know, wait the four seconds between the shots. It's four seconds. Torpor builds after hit for tor for four seconds. All right, I'm gonna knock this guy out and uh, tame him. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the car now. He should be probably about done, I think. Uh, I had to be careful. There was a pig around here. All right, he's done. Excellent. Uh, 119. 
I did manage to find two prime meats for him uh, from another Carno, yeah. Maybe a, a younger cousin. He was just level 15. All right, great. Your weight is 372. It's not terrible. All right, how do we do... Oh, wow, he's pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> See, where'd that pig go? No, no. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Yeah, get a workout. Unfortunately, these pigs don't, uh, you know, give a lot of uh, XP. But they should give some good hide. Yeah, let's uh, jump this guy off and put him on neutral. Yeah. Alright, cool. Do they give a lot of hide? That's the thing. Not really. Oh yeah, this is the way to travel. Look at that, he just walked up that route. Alright, so I'm gonna try to unload a bit of weight, uh, get light, and we'll go look for... Oh, being attacked by an insect swarm. Hold on. Can I attack an insect swarm with this guy? Oh yeah, we can! Ha 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 ha! Right, right, so I'm gonna unload a little bit of weight and we'll go venture on over and see if we can't uh, get a an iguanodon. Oh yeah, and uh, I did do, I did fix my I and I settings. They look good, it seemed to be working. So let me do a dino wipe. Uh, destroy wild dinos. Very good, and then everything should spawn as the new settings. Level 6 difficulty. Ah, my monkey got him. <laughs> Alright, we're back. I uh, had to actually exit the game uh, after I got here and doing the dino wipe. Um, I, I haven't made it very far, but kind of. Yeah, this is this is a bit annoying. <laughs> like, is this only the Carno or what, what is that new? I made it over here. It's not very far, but. Um, yeah, let me. I don't know. Ah, okay. Well, he's actually doing pretty good. He actually got a good amount of uh, hide there. Actually, I'm I'm proud of you. Yeah, for some reason, uh, after the dino wipe, we never got any um, dino spawns. They just didn't spawn. So, okay, can we take this guy out here? A sixty, I think we can. Let me level up. Ooh, yeah, melee. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it was it was weird. I, I walked all the way over here, and there was just no dinos ever. <laughs> so yeah, exited and uh, reloaded the game, and boom, there it was. So in case you have the problem after a dino wipe, boom, fifty-three. Why am I doing only fifty-three? These guys have a special armor plate in. Maybe we can do this. That's gonna take forever. Alright, we got him on the run. He's looking pretty bloody. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, prime meat. Oh, prime meat. Oh, ho, 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 ho. prime 15. Prime meaties. That's another kind, huh? Dude, get your get out of the way! It's a 60. Okay, yeah, we can we can eat that guy. Might as well level up. All right. By the way, you're you're a male, so your name shall be Carneal. Gain. Yeah, I don't know if that's spelled right, but that's his name, Carneal Gain, monkey. Monkey, do you have a name? I don't think I named you. No. You're a Mesopithecus male. Let's see, you got some levels up. Sweet. Maybe we'll do melee damage. Does that help? Your name shall be Dremora. The Dreaded. Alright, that is a Iguanodon level 60. We don't need that. 
Oh, you want to fight, huh? I don't think you want to do that. Oh. This guy is a meat hide killing machine. Oh. Oh, that was a 180 Iguanodon. Of course it was. The stupid terror bird, man. All right, what level are you? What level are you? 54. What level are you? You're in the way. A 114 fighting. 168 dialer. Sorry, guys, but dinner's canceled. Oh, it's totally, totally not. Oh, it's, it's like home, but it's not home. Check it out. Oh, and there's a flowery thing in here. Dude. Okay. Similar. I actually found one. Um, if I go straight over that way to the next thing over there, there's like a really... There's a pretty big one of these. It's like this, and there's a bunch of metal nodes in it and around it. A lot of metal up there. And then there's um, kind of another another smaller tree like this where you can make a little house in, I think, uh, maybe nearby. Yeah, should have went there, but but this is fine over here. Um, because a single player, I have to have the respawn rates of things pretty high, so it's not immediate, but um, but the metal nodes respawn pretty fast, so um, it doesn't matter. I got, I got those three metal nodes, and I'm pretty set for metal. You know, with just my pick, at least. Check this out. I've been following along this kind of uh, broken area. There's a whole sub-level down here. Uh, I can't really get down there because this Karno won't jump down those... See the steps that go down there? It may be an Iguanodon good. Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna try to go down there, but following along like this whole route over there, it's kind of broken up and you can see down in there. And there's a spinal right over there. <laughs> yeah. See, at this point, we couldn't get back up. I don't know. I'd like to go down there, but... Aha! Oh, look, mushrooms. Now, I've seen... I've gotten, a, like, an aquatic mushroom from probably chopping a mushroom before, but... Uh... Fiber, auric mushroom. Okay, so this map has probably... Possibly a um, aberration style element to it here. Let's go check it out. Yeah? yeah, so you can see, like up there, you know, it's got things, places that you could fall down in here at any given moment. Oh, this is that's as far as it goes. <laughs> well, this would be a pretty cool place to have like a base, especially like with your friends, community base. Oh man, these moss chops have cool colors. Yeah, yeah, there might be more of those kind of somewhat underground places. Oh yeah, so I think I found it here. Yeah, this tree here, this, this stump, yeah, with this uh, big cool flower popping out the top, makes a really nice light there. And then this big tree here comes across if I oh I think I'd rather just fell down. Let me get back up there. <laughs> uh, let's see. So you can see inside of there there's a bunch of metal in there. Oh well look at this. I've got yellow gems or something. Oh there's green. Green gems. Yeah. Okay, cool. Don't know if I need green gems right now. Oh yeah, check this place out right here. Look at that. All the metal in here. Actually, this is a... I think this is a different tree. It looks a bit different, but yeah. Like this. You got all this metal inside. That's pretty cool. A nice place for a base. Iguanodon 168, I'm having it. 
That is what we are taming. Alright, great. Let me look around at the area, see if there's any potential predators. He has gone way over here. Missed. Okay. I think we got his attention. I don't get stuck on a tree, buddy. <laughs> what? All right. All right, come on in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, that was so good. And the other gate's closed. All right. There we go, second tame. I'm going to keep knocking this guy out and tame him up, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. A uh, beautiful day in the bog, isn't it? The turds running I mean, um, terror birds running around. It's not a toad. Gosh. Anyways, yeah. Uh, just got attacked by Daydon. I, uh, I just logged in and actually it's the next day for me. Uh, but we did. We made it back. And look. Whoa. We got a whole army here. Yeah, so, right, right. Uh, we were taming maybe this guy over here, I think. Yeah, yeah, we tamed this guy. And while I was waiting for him to tame, I saw this one while I was just wandering around. It wasn't too far away, but I did get lost <laughs> trying to find it again. So I tamed this one. It was a it was a one six eight and then uh, yeah so when then we went to tame this one female one six eight tamed it up and we brought them back and then there were four iguanodons like near my base around here four I that's the first time I'd seen iguanodons but that's what happens when a dino wipe happens you know you get like new creatures and new areas it would seem uh so four iguanodons one of them was a 168 female so um she was kind of way over there uh so i kind of lured her a little bit closer and uh, trapped her in the trap and uh, tamed her she was 168 and uh, i think that's her right here so now we have three 168s tamed uh male female female so i think we can have a baby and perhaps even imprint it and uh yeah so while i was waiting for that um, I was, I think, chopping some wood, and I hear do 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 of a raptor, right? And so I hadn't seen any Gallimimus around here yet, so I looked up, and there's this raptor, like, stuck in these trees over here. <laughs> She's just stuck there. And I was, like, I was, like, right over here chopping wood. Yeah. And, um, so I started shooting it. And uh, it, it eventually got out, so, and uh, I kind of I kind of knew that, so I was like, like backing up as I was shooting it. It came after me, so I was ready with a bowler, bowled it, kept shooting it, and then it got out of the bowler, and then it was torpor running, so I followed it with another bowler, and I came around here, and then it was in the water. I'm like, oh no! And then it finally got a place where it was standing in the water, bowled it, and then knocked it out. It was it was completely submerged, asleep, but. You know, it was in. It was about right here, so it. Um, I don't know. It it could breathe under this much amount of water. You know, <laughs> it wasn't so deep that it was swimming. That's like a ooh, yeah, eighteen. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so then I was waiting for that guy to tame up, and I was just wandering around, and I look over there, somewhere over there, and I spy scope one seventy four. Uh, pterodon. So I'm like, hey, you know what? I don't, I don't think I'll be able to knock it out because, um, you know, all I can do is bowl it, and it's a 174. So I bowled it, two headshots with my primitive crossbow, and it goes out. I, these things, these things go out really quick. I guess they don't have. I don't know. Headshots, two, two headshots. I, I couldn't believe it. It went out with two headshots. So I tamed it, and then. All it says is access inventory. I'm like, what the world? I was like, this this can't be a no flyer map, right? I mean, there's flyers. <laughs> oh, it's a terror bird, yeah. Yeah. So now I got an army to deal with those things now. And anyway, so if you if you go into here, uh, I was trying to say, if you go into here, 
Yeah, you just hold it. Flyer mounts disabled. Oh my god, what? This is a no flyer map? I had no... Well, like I said before, I had... I think I said in the end of the last episode, I have no idea about Genesis. So, yeah, I know there's new creatures. I haven't seen any except for the X-Factors and uh, X-Raptors. But yeah, yeah, so this is an X-Raptor. I don't know if it's because it was a raptor and it's not now. I don't know because it's like a mutated raptor, like an X-Man, but it's not a man, so it's a raptor, it's an X-Raptor, and they're gonna make a movie. I don't know, but as far as I can tell, it's a normal raptor. And see, you can definitely, it's definitely a normal raptor. You get on and it says, oh, you're too heavy. <laughs> the last time I got on, I wasn't too heavy. I don't know. Um, okay, so the only way I can, yeah. Okay, come over here, guys. Yeah, you're gonna have to walk it. I can't fly yet. That's annoying. Okay, so I have a, I have a pterodon. It looks like uh, behavior. Why don't you be on passive then, so you don't, I don't know, go off somewhere and yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that's the state of things. We got uh, three mounts, some breeders, and uh, and a useless pterodon, and a raptor. Although I think Makarn is better. Even though the Raptor was, guess what, a 160... Oh, wait, was it? No, it's a tamed at a 251. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I just, yeah, we, we, we tamed it on prime meat, so... Um, yeah, he was a 174, so I would have been a 260. This guy must have been a 168, I would say. Yeah, and these guys were all 168 as well, but they didn't do as well because they were tamed on major berries, so we lost, you know, a number of levels on these guys. Yes, indeed, awesome stuff. So um, I think maybe uh, let's uh, let's get a picture. There we go. Oh yeah, that's good. There <laughs> we good. And I think I'm going to maybe breed these guys together. Uh, hopefully, combine some good stats, have a baby, and maybe even imprint it a little bit. Oh, there's a Dimetrodon now. What's going on here? Turtles, Dimetrodons over here. I don't know. It's it. It's gone, it's gone crazy in the swamps here. Anyway, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do hit that thumbs up button for me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.